61A, lecture number 25, announcements. First, I'll say that I hope you all are doing okay. I know that life has been disrupted a lot lately, and we're all trying to adapt. So hang in there. I hope you've had some time to get settled wherever you are now, and we'll get back to learning computer science. If you've missed some content over the last few weeks, I hope you have time to go back and review that content. Really the most important part of this course is what leads up to midterm two. So do your best to find some time to go back and learn all that stuff. Here's what's happening this week. Lab nine is due on Thursday. We're no longer gonna have lab sections because we've tried these online in the past and people tend not to come. So just complete the lab assignment at any time you choose. You can ask questions on Piazza and we'll make sure that we stay responsive. You can also make an office hours appointment or join the drop-in queue during drop-in online office hours times to ask questions interactively. If you look at the office hours schedule for the course, you'll see that we have designated times on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for drop-in online office hours. If you join the online office hour queue outside of those times, nobody is going to help you. But during those times, you should get help if you wait around. If you don't want to wait around, make an appointment. Office hours appointments are available during those same blocks of time. So you can schedule your appointment in advance and then just show up when your appointment rolls around. Homework six is already posted. It's due on Friday. You'll notice that labs used to be due on Friday and homework's due on Thursday, but you really should complete the lab before you complete the homework. Lab gets you warmed up for the homework questions, which tend to be more involved. So for the rest of the semester, lab will be due on Thursday and homework due on Friday. Normally, I don't like major assignments due on Friday, but these are not normal times. I suspect you're not going out, and so you can just work on the homework on Friday instead. If you want to finish it earlier, that's great. Any office hour time can be used for homework questions or lab questions as you prefer, as well as lecture questions or anything else. This week's homework includes a mid-semester survey. You can complete it in as few as five minutes, but if you want to spend a little bit longer to give us some written descriptions of what you'd like to see changed, then we'll do our best to respond, both this semester and also for future semesters. A lot of questions are about the live version of this course, so we obviously can't implement those suggestions this semester since that doesn't exist anymore. But if you have feedback about how online office hours are going, that's a good place to tell us on the survey. I'm replacing my instructor office hours with something new because not many people were coming to my instructor office hours and I also am not available at the times that they used to be scheduled. So here's the new thing. I'll post these lecture videos and then I'll hold a live lecture Q&A session in the evening after I post the videos so that you can watch the videos in the afternoon, jot down any questions that you have, and then join this Zoom session in order to ask questions about the lecture material for that day. I'll post lecture videos by 2 p.m. on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then you can ask questions during this live Q&A session, or if nobody's asking questions, I might look for questions on Piazza about the lecture and answer those as well. I'm going to record these sessions and I'll upload the recording to YouTube as an additional video in the lectures playlist. So if you watch the lectures playlist at 2 p.m., it obviously won't include this because the lecture Q&A session hasn't happened yet. But if you watch lectures later that night or the next day, then you'll see all of the regular lecture videos as well as a Zoom recording of student questions and their answers, which might be a useful addendum to the lecture content. The last big announcement for today is that I am changing the amount of required content in this course just to acknowledge that it's harder to learn all of this stuff without a campus and a campus community. And I expect most people to switch to PNP. So I just wanna be very clear about what's really important that you learn and I'll mark everything else as optional. The optional lectures will still have lecture videos like these but they won't appear on lab or discussion or homework or projects or exams, meaning if you don't learn them, you won't be held accountable for that information. But I do think it's a good idea to learn these topics anyway, 
I mean, they're in the course for a reason. They're just not as important as the other stuff in the course. And I know that a bunch of you are still trying to catch up on midterm two material. And so I'm reducing the number of topics that I'll expect you to have learned by the end. So if you look through the lecture schedule, you'll see that some things have been now marked as optional, including the efficiency lecture from a few weeks ago, which was not included on midterm two. It won't be on the final either. This week, today's lecture is not optional, but Wednesday's lecture is. It's still a good idea to learn about exceptions, but you won't have to solve problems that involve exceptions. Instead, it's optional. You'll have some required stuff, and then some optional stuff, some more required stuff, and then some optional stuff, and then we'll be done. Now, if you'd really like to learn about these topics, the lectures will be posted, and we'll have some optional problems on homework assignments so that you can test your understanding. You can also go look back at the final exams from previous semesters if you want more practice problems on those topics, but they won't be on this semester's final exam. Midterm 2 is taking a while to score because of the new format. I do really appreciate the fact that the people who took it mostly have filled out a survey about how it went. The summary of that survey is that it didn't go terribly well. A lot of students had technical difficulties, and even those that didn't generally did not have a good experience taking this exam in a new format. Nonetheless, we'll try to get it scored fairly and accurately. I hope we can get it done this week but I think next week is more likely. And you can expect that the final exam, in whatever format it takes, will not be the same as the midterm, because I do want to be responsive to your feedback. Thanks for participating in a new experimental format. I'm sorry it didn't work out quite as well as I had hoped. And we'll all just have to keep working on adjusting to this new online version of 61A. Okay, now we're going to start a new part of the course. And for this part of the course, we leave Python behind and learn a new programming language.